How's everyone doing today? Good? Perfect. That's what I want to hear here in my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to create this awesome looking animated subscribe button for your own YouTube channel. Super easy, super fast. So if you're ready to learn this, keep watching this video. Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel Nemo TV where I post lots of tech reviews, video editing tutorials, tips and tricks for YouTubers so they can grow their YouTube channel faster. Oh, by the way guys, I have a good news for you. So my website nemoltv.com is ready now. Over there you can go schedule a Zoom meeting with me so we can set one by one face to face talk about your own youtube channel i'm going to go through review your channel give you some tips on how to grow it faster also if you need help on setting up your in room studio including the camera lighting and lots of exclusive tips specifically for your own youtube channel feel free to go there schedule a zoom meeting and let's let's talk business huh all right now let's get started with our tutorial which is the main reason you are watching this video so in order to do this first we are going to need a screen recording software it could be the extensions the free extensions for chrome any software that you can use for recording your screen i'm just gonna show you the free screen recording.com which you can just go to their website click on download and put in your email and download the app once you install it just open the app and just click on new recording just adjust your frame to full screen so you record all of your screen and then just hit the record button now go to youtube go to any youtube channel I'm doing peter mckinnon scroll down to cover everything and then while you're recording click on the like subscribe and turn on the bell notification and that's it save the video open adobe premiere pro new project and then new sequence inside the project i'm going to do 1080 24 frames per second let's name our sequence as subscribe animation then i'm just going to hit ok going to media and over here i'm just gonna this is going to be the video that you are preparing and for posting okay it's going to be within your project that you can do this i'm just going to zoom in this is a part of the video that i let's say i'm gonna post uh, if i play it it's too large because it's 4k let me just go to editing effects control and uh, make it smaller to 50 percent okay so let's say this is a portion of the video it could be your new project you have to do this at any project this is not like the other kind of animated subscribe buttons so uh, just mark where you want the animation to start let's say here i use the razor tool uh, it's like i just slice it let it be played till here uh, let's say till here it depends it's, it's subjective and once you have it go to your project from here and drag and drop the video that we just recorded i'm just going to drag and drop it here and now i'm just going to double click on this and choose the part that i'm actually doing that so i'm going to go to the beginning click on mark in then let it be played okay i click on like subscribe turn on the bell notification okay and mark out and now i'm just going to drag and drop it over my track on timeline i'm going to select the main video move it one track higher and then drag and drop my recorded video uh, beneath where i want it to start i'm going to hide and make it invisible the main video okay here's the trick but click on your element go to effects control and make it smaller in a way that the black screen or whatever screen is on the youtube just full just covers the whole width of the screen so i'm going to make it larger let's say here move it a little bit to the right smaller uh, move it a little bit to the right a little bit bigger let's type in 75 okay now i'm going to move it to the below all the way to the down exactly like this and once you have this ready just uh over here make sure it's selected go all the way to the beginning of this element and toggle on position so you, you're going to animate play it for a couple of seconds and move it up to the left so it's gonna be covering the whole thing that is happening okay including the like uh, subscribe and the turn on notification pop-up so i'm just gonna make it to the right so this is gonna be the location then i'm gonna let it be played because the keyframe is already here let it be played okay once the action is done click here so you are gonna add another keyframe and once it's done i'm just gonna copy the first frame ctrl c and ctrl v and paste it here so 
Now, uh, I'm just going to make some adjustment here because I think it's going to be longer. Let's just remove the end parts and then just drag and drop the end. Now I'm just going to make the top layer visible, which is our new project, the video that we are making. And I'm going to go to the first keyframe on the screen recording element. Uh, make sure you're there and then click on your main video and toggle on the position. Okay. Once you do this, go to the screen recording element and go to the second keyframe. Click on your new video and move it up to the left so it overlays on the black screen of the YouTube player, okay? Right there. And once you do this, click on your screen recording again, go to the next keyframe, go to your video, create a keyframe, and then go back to the screen recording, go to the last keyframe, go to your screen recording, and just copy the first keyframe, Control C, and use Control V to paste it. So now this is gonna how it's gonna look like. So it goes there and they all move together. So this is gonna be the animation part. Now we are gonna be using uh, sound effects on YouTube studio. Let's look for the whoosh. So let's say this one, just drag and drop it over your Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, let me just double click on it. Choose, let's say this far. Uh, yeah, this is good. Mark in, mark out, drag and drop it in the beginning. So this is, I just want to whoosh to kind of play once it moves. And then I'm going to just use Control C, Control V to paste this at the end as well. And once I do this, I'm going to add another sound effect. Let's do the click or button. So I'm just going to download this one and just drag and drop this over my Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, let's use this one. Yeah, mark in mark out drag and drop it where wherever you're clicking so it's almost three times but i'm just going to put it in the first two so let's put one here let's zoom in and copy paste another one here now let's add the bell sound effect let me just adjust this it doesn't sound right the timing okay now it's good let's go to youtube studio again if i play it from the beginning i think i'm going to need like a bell to, to make it better yeah this is good now uh let me just go to youtube and add the bell sound effect ship bell yeah this this one sounds nice let's just download it start download drag and drop it over my project let's use this one it has some eco but mark out drag and drop it here i think i'm gonna need to I, I don't have enough spacing, so I'm going to need to make some adjustments. Yeah, I'm just going to move. Let's just drag the end, make this shorter, drag it here. Let me try to see if it's fine. OK, the ending is not complete. So I just drag and drop this one below and then the whole thing. Let me play it. OK, now it sounds really cool. Let me just play from the beginning for you guys. Uh, we don't want this part. Let's just yeah from here. So it starts. So this is your first time watching my video. Uh huh. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, cool. All right, guys. That's it. You just made for yourself a cool minimalist animated subscribe button for your own YouTube channel. So if you had any questions while going through this, let me know below in the comments. I'm going to answer to all of your questions. And again, if you found value in this video, make sure to just destroy that like button. Subscribe, turn on your bell notifications if this was your first time watching my videos. And again, if you want to have the one to one meeting to just go through your YouTube channel and help you grow faster, make sure to visit my website. Just book your spot and let's talk soon, huh? Okay, until next video, thank you for watching and more class.